Optimum is a publicly funded research project and the international consortium consists, um, besides Germany, from partners um, from, from Turkey, from Spain, from South Korea and from Romania and the United Kingdom. And uh, we are a project in the surroundings of Industry 4.0 and we have been doing research since um, September 2017. We are enabling machines of different kinds and different makes to communicate with each other. And um, this is so stunningly and groundbreaking because so far only machines of the same makes were able to communicate with each other. From Korea perspective, the Optimum project is to develop conceptual technology of IIoT and DCP for the smart factory environment. The environment of smart factory is different from the general environment such as city or trip. The IoT technology cannot be directly applied to the smart factory environment. We need to develop industrial IoT technology for the smart factory. Optimum is a typical Industry 4.0 project. However, uh, it covers wide area of the technologies and it is a tough Industry 4.0 project. We focused on context awareness, OPCUA integration, uh, integrating hardware and software together. The great innovation is that for standard applications and not fully automized processes, um, there is the potential for new assistance functions which are revolutionizing the efficiency of uh, processes. And um, Optimum, the outcomes of Optimum, is really prerequisite for real smart factories in the future. We have prototypically implemented in uh, 15 demonstrators in four countries. In uh, Germany, for example, we have implemented new innovative assistance functions into a demo assembly process. Yeah, for the secure element, we have our um, plug and trust platform. It's called EdgeLock with a secure element called SEO50. This device serves perfectly the needs of securing and hardening um, all communication. We also used it for provisioning um, device certificates to get devices provisioned with uh, communication certificates so that they can be smoothly added to the whole system. We at the University of Rostock have researched new localization functions and developed an IoT software framework for industrial cranes and autonomous vehicles. The localization functions will improve worker safety in the future. With the IoT software framework, cranes, machines, robots and autonomous driving vehicles can be quickly equipped with new assistance functions. We mainly uh, concentrated on the development of the distributed control platform. We were working on uh, the integration of real-time uh, protocols and we were uh, working on assistance functions and uh, integrating uh, hardware security components. Based on the location awareness information, we were enhancing the location-dependent uh, control uh, capabilities and we were gathering information and providing that information to the 3D tool so that we were able uh, to supervise the overall application. In Turkey, um, there is a prototypical implementation in two demonstrations um, with a focus on coil storaging and um, the automated and safe transport of the coils uh, to a shearing machine. 
The tabletop demonstrator created in order to explain Armata's use case. It is able to simulate use case steps between truck, coil storage area, and shrink machine. It sets a good example for further design studies regarding the project, and it can be considered as rehearsal for the bigger scale demonstration. With the integrated sensors, collision avoidance, localization, and security functions during coil grabbing and raising can be validated. So, the optimum functions compliance with the Armata's real production area security conditions can be observed. Being the user of the software and applications uh, that develop through the Optimum project, we will have uh, more flexible and safe uh, material handling processes. In Spain, there is a demonstrator with a focus on a battery assembly. We developed a demonstrator in collaboration with Martel to support battery welding. Thanks to Indigo, the telemetry platform designed and implemented at Universidad Carlos III de Madrid and SOTEC, all the events can be recorded and studied to monitor and improve the industrial process. In Korea, we have several demonstrators um, within the domain of smart manufacturing with um, little alphabots from small alphabots to a crane demonstrator in the laboratory of our Korean partner. We have spent a lot of time to make effective use case scenarios. We have used OPC UA for the industrial IoT platforms. For material handling robot scenario, we need to solve a localization problem. We used the vision-based technology to estimate the exact location of the robot. There has been um, a lot of uh, dissemination and exploitation related activities already during the project. The main exploitation routes will be through targeting our industrial SME members, local, regional and national, as well as their European network. Optimum and its results will be promoted through, through Manifature platform with the view to encourage further development and commercialization. It's several codes from Optimum GitLab for time-critical M2M and IoT applications. And uh, we prepared our uh, local server to deploy and test IIoT security. The team is, I cannot say it differently, fantastic. <laughs> The collaboration of the consortium within the Optimum project was great. During the whole project we had always a very good team spirit and um, drive to solve the sometimes challenging tasks. Although we had to cope with the COVID-19 situation uh, as the rest of the world, we managed to overcome these obstacles as a development team as good as possible. During the last 3-4 years we came together countless times online and in person for technical, managerial and social reasons. The technical activities and achievements of course gave always high satisfaction but I think the social meetings were uh, the ones to really remember. And we met as project teams and then we together discussed projects and we got to know each other and learn about each other's expertise. So that, to me, was the most exciting times. But because of COVID, that had to stop. We tried to foresee effects for the, for the project so that we could uh, mitigate ne negative um, effects in a timely manner and also um, stay in close personal contact and see how partners are personally coping and we did have partners um, that got infected and also family members got infected and therefore we did have some additional worries in the project. Luckily, all project partners um, have recovered. So these were, I think, the most challenging times and also dark times. Um, due to uh, COVID-19, but all in all, um, we, I, I think we really coped with it in, a, in an excellent manner 
um, both for the project and also both for the social connection and um, information exchange within the partners. We learned how to collaborate with different uh, domains, different fields. Uh, Taracos taught us simulation environments, Demac taught us uh, how to operate in factories, IFAC taught us how to build uh, a prototype. Hermeta provided us a very friendly and fully equipped environment. So we learned a lot of lessons. Thank you very much to your partners. Thank you, ETIA. Thank you, public authorities, for making this experience um, possible. Thank you very much.